Hi everybody, I'm Steve Richards, one of the pastors at Messiah Church in Plymouth, Minnesota. If you happen to try uh, and, and, and catch my first version, I lost my internet connection somewhere during my message, so I want to try it again. We'll erase the first one and try this one again. So I'm glad you joined me this morning for a few minutes. You know, when I first received this car, one of the kids in the neighborhood asked me, how fast does it go? And my answer, fast enough. Now, I don't know if uh, what he thought of that answer, but it seemed to satisfy him. And frankly, I'd much rather watch a good car race than ever race in one. And last week in, was the Geico 500 at the Talladega Super Speedway in Alabama. And maybe you saw this photo. The photo that made the news, and it was taken right at the start of the race. And, and when I saw the photo, and I heard the story behind the photo, I thought, well, that's what Jesus would do. I'd like to think that's what the followers of Jesus would do, and at a NASCAR race. Now, if you don't happen to follow the sport of NASCAR racing, Bubba Wallace is the only full-time driver in NASCAR who happens to be black. And he was driving in the race at the Talladega Speedway uh, last weekend. And last weekend, somebody found a noose hanging in the garage that had been assigned to him. Now, news reports yesterday indicate that, that the noose was, uh, was probably there last fall, long before the garage had been assigned to Wallace. But I hope you understand the significance of the noose. The noose is, is a threat. It's an act of intimidation. It's meant to send fear. It's meant to recall uh, times, even recent times, when the noose has been used to lynch African Americans. And it's an act of hate. Well, the reason I share the photo is that just the suggestion that Bubba Wallace was the target of an act of hate because of the color of his skin, brought every other NASCAR driver and their pit crews out onto the racetrack before the start of the race to come alongside Bubba Wallace to offer solidarity and support. And not because Bubba Wallace asked them to do it. They did it because it was the right thing to do stand against hate. It's the loving thing to do. You know, in his book, Irresistible, Andy Stanley asks the question, what if we just one anothered one another better? Hear the question again. What if we just one anothered one another better? In the Gospel of John, Jesus told his disciples, love one another as I have loved you. No greater love has anyone than to lay down one's life for one's friends. And ultimately, that's what Jesus did for his disciples, his friends, and for you and me. I mean, imagine a world where people wanted to be like those who called themselves the followers of Jesus, not because of what they said or even what they believed, but because of how they lived. They were drawn to be like those who one anothered one another. You know, the New Testament teaches that we are to love one another as Jesus did. And so the question that, that, that I try to carry around with me is, is what is the most loving thing I could think or say or, or do? And the answer to that question is, is found in the New Testament. The Apostle Paul, over and over again, Paul says, submit to one another. Forgive one another. Encourage one another. Restore one another. Accept one another care for one another, bear with one another, care, carry one another's burdens as Jesus did. 
See, everybody wants to be one another. Everybody wants to feel included in a community that is characterized by one another love. See, the one another way, the way of Jesus. It touches something deep down in the soul of every man, woman, and child. The one another way, the way of Jesus appeals to our desire to be included, recognized, and valued. So why not just do that? I mean, what if we just one anothered one another better? It just might start a movement. And it begins with you and me. Thank you. Thank you for spending a few minutes with me today. I hope you'll tune in again next Wednesday morning. Have a blessed week. Take care of each other. God bless.